Hey there, everybody. This is Brett. Uh, real quick before the episode starts, I'd like to say the first 10 or 15 minutes of this episode uh, is a dwarf segment where we talk about dwarves and we refer to people who aren't dwarves as normal or regular sized people. We're not trying to say that dwarves aren't normal or regular people. They are. They're people like, they're, they're people. They're people. Simple as that. Uh, so we're, we're all very sorry. Uh, we didn't mean any offense, but we said what we said, and we're going to try to get better. Uh, and I'm pretty sure dwarf is the right, is the correct term. If it isn't, please email us so that we don't make the same mistake again, uh, and that we can improve and get better. Uh, again, we're very sorry. And that being said, let's start the episode. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Thought Sauna, where we talk about dreams, interesting thoughts, and weird laws. This is going to be the saltiest episode we're ever going to have. I'm Brett Audio Destroyer Hanrahan. <laughs> I'm Sam. Mad we lost all that audio about frogs, Grizzly. <laughs> I'm Cyan. God, that was the best episode I ever recorded, and it's gone forever, Haskins. So as you could tell, uh, <laughs> we Brett, had a good episode. Brett did a goof. And it's gone. It's, Brett Brett made a tiny little mistake. It's fucking gone! I just I deleted the audio Frog to Con a good, 2020 is a gone. solid 15 minutes of episode. But here we are. Second's gonna be better. We're, just, we're really... It's gonna be the best episode yet. Because with us... We have a special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? I am Emily. I don't know what the fuck I just got myself into, Dickerson. There, yeah, there we go. There it is. <laughs> a standard day of work in the studio. See, that's good and proper. Just... <laughs> oh. So without further we ado. Oh, the frog. We had a frog thing. Without further ado, let's get into the laws. Are you recording? This one. Are you are you not going to I What? I'm recording. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sam, we just did a whole intro. We are recording. No, I know. You know, he's but making apparently fun it was of me. in the middle of the episode that he just deleted everything. So It disappeared. This one comes from an article on Business Insider. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know, they're very and lawful there. In Florida. Uh-huh. There's no dwarf tossing aloud. I'm sorry. Which I saw that one. There's what? There's no what? There's no dwarf tossing aloud. <laughs> the best Florida. part the best part of this is it's on Business Insider. <laughs> Not even the law itself, it's just where you found it. <laughs> it was it was an article of strange laws on Business Insider. Oh, okay, gotcha. Wait, does but it, I thought it was an entire in... article just on it. <laughs> no, I wish. Does that mean it's legal to toss a regular, like Regular person? height person? I th- a high person? Height. Regular person. height. Ten. Oh, okay. No, I think if you could toss a regular, normal, like, <laughs> average sized person, I think, I think like, that's impressive enough. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're like, okay, we don't gotta... Now, if you could toss a hype man... Now, if you could toss a hype man... Because those people are just solid on the ground. You can't move them. Yeah, no. My, okay, so my question here is, isn't, I thought dwarf was like the offensive term. I think dwarf is the real term. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's dwarf. Isn't yeah. It? Okay. Huh. I mean, I, mean, all those I got, shows I got, I got, by like little people. Yeah. I got into a, a conversation with my friend about it, and I was like, midget. oh, midget is it midget is or one. little people? That's the offensive. It was offensive. a midget yeah. or little people, and my friend and was like, oh, loud. both of those are offensive. Wait. Also, this Skype calls a mess so far. Yeah. Yes. This Skype calls bad because the lag happens, so 
we don't know when the other person's going to start talking until they're halfway through their sentence. Okay, but so... you know what? Yeah, it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god, Sam. We just have... Jesus Christ. We just have to accept that we're all going to talk over each other all the time. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no way we're going to be able to if we're using Skype. There's four of us, and there's lag, and that's a good combination. So no dwarf tossing. That's unfortunate. I think we go over to Florida. I think we make a dwarf tossing competition. So, okay. Wait, but it, no, wait, it's no, illegal. No, no. It's illegal. What is this going to be know. an underground one, like a fucking speakeasy, or like <laughs> it's going to be like Fight Club? Yeah, dwarf or like chicken tossing fights. competition. We have it's, to. It's like, a real hush hush thing. <laughs> what's the pa- <laughs> What's the password? Hi ho! I don't know. What oh my god. Doing. <laughs> and you know because we're gonna go we're gonna after that frog jumping competition that we're gonna go to in Why'd california you bring up bad memories brett we're gonna you know what what else are we gonna have to look forward to people tossing people so we're gonna have to do a cross-country road trip from california to go all the way to florida just to get into this underground, like, basement. Exactly. Okay. Where we can toss some dwarves. Why do we so, need to discriminate? Wait, 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 wait. Is it so the dwarves can feel tall? Oh. <laughs> um, no. Oh. No. <laughs> Brett. Also, okay, sidetrack real quick. I had to take a breather outside because of what happened last episode. And before I left, Brett said the law he had was very sexual. <laughs> I replaced it with this one. No, oh, let's so get into this. Let's tossing. get into dwarf tossing being a sexual mm-hmm. thing. No. I, oh, did it's... you change laws? Did you did you bugger out? Is that where you get like I... the the phrase a tosser? I thought it was tossing a salad. Same all way. those are real all good. <laughs> Have it, isn't like sex I had a sexual a one. Like you got your salad tossed. <laughs> Is that isn't that I don't a thing? know how you're trying to bring this back to dwarfs? Because they're tossing them. <laughs> So what? You're just gonna mix them all in a giant ass bowl? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually one of those Nickelodeon game shows underground. <laughs> oh my god! They put them up it's in, like, how they bring guts suits, back. So they roll around. <laughs> okay, we do have to establish some rules if this is an actual tossing thing and not like a sex thing, and that well probably <laughs> some rules if it's a sex thing as well, and that is actually this rule applies whether it's a tossing contest or a sex thing. No children. Yeah, no children. They yeah. have to be at least, what's the age? Well, okay, like 30? okay, but, like, <clears throat> non-sexual tossing of a child. Like, we do this all the time. Like, you you toss them up just a little bit where they go, yeah. But not in competition. You don't yeah, know. not in competition. You're right. Well, maybe I'm we have, like, you're right. maybe I chucked my baby brother junior. across a room <laughs> to test mm. my abilities. I mean, I'm sure See, it has happened before. I had I had this mindset where we have dwarf tossing and dwarf tossing junior. One is for the adults who are into the sexual dwarf tossing, and then one is for the kids, and it's all you know fun and. Uh, They're actually friendly. tossing dwarfs. But we could also have another subcategory of dwarf tossing where we are just tossing children and just tossing average size adults. Dwarf tossing celebrity edition. I've got I've got one I've got another one for you. Yeah. It's alternative dwarf tossing. Where the dwarves toss regular sized people. Oh, that's a very good point. Oh. oh. Wow. That that, that shows changes you. the game. Oh, have the tables have turned. And then oh, dwarves on dwarves, where dwarves tables. toss dwarves. Dwarves on dwarf crime. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a lot in there. Dwarf on I feel dwarf like we're action. getting to some very offensive territory only. here. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel like this episode's a lot worse than the frog episode. <laughs> And all the viewers are just going to have to wonder of what Look, could have been. We're not saying it's okay to just toss random people, and it's especially not okay to toss dwarves, but <laughs> if it's competition, it's different. I would like to preface... If it's for competitive play. The, uh, of course the dwarves are willing. It's mutual. They consent. They sign up. If you could if you could get tossed and get paid for it, I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd do it. Okay. You know? But on the hit. frog episode, we're never gonna release what it. What frog episode? The viewers may th- the viewers about? may think we're just making an elaborate ruse. Wink, wink. 
That's a lie. We actually had a frog episode, and I'm very upset about it. Now it sounds like you're covering your ass. I, We've spent. I know. I'm leading them on a paper trail. What paper trail? That's is... not what a paper trail means. I realized that as I said. It. <laughs> I'm we s- have spent most of this episode talking about the last unairable episode. <clears throat> it's sewing an air. It's sewing an air mystery. Yeah. An you, intrigue. You, one day Little did it. you know, if this you... show had an overarching plot. I used to wonder. You have to why find the clues take... hidden. Oh dang. What? Yeah. I used to wonder why it would take oh, Sam so long to record just one podcast with you guys. Now I understand. It. Look, it usually <laughs> goes pretty smoothly. Okay. <laughs> It usually goes relatively well, all right. <laughs> Cyan, I think you are up with the shower thought. Yeah, uh, here's my fucking shower thought. <laughs> Come on. Come on, we gotta move on. <laughs> Crazy how you can record such a great 15-minute all episode. Right. and then. Okay. okay, no, I do have a real shower thought, though. Thank you. If we are gonna move on from this and grow up and grow stronger. My shower thought Your chat is <laughs> Isn't it weird? <laughs> yes. Yes. How it's not even funny. It's not even good. I don't know why I'm <laughs> laughing so much. Isn't it weird how you can be totally naked, but if you have socks on, you feel like a fucking monster? <laughs> <laughs> Just an absolute fucking goon if you have socks on? Straight up, dude. Okay, I saw okay, that one. But, I saw but, that one too, and I agree completely. <laughs> dude, you can totally. You can be wearing every. You can be wearing a full outfit, but not have socks on, and you're good to go. You're just indoors. But if you're wearing nothing and you have socks on, you're a fucking lunatic. The thing you feel about- like absolute garbage. You feel wrong. It's the thing psychos wear. You feel like terrible. You know what's even worse? Now, Why is it? Huh. Why is that? Go ahead, him. So, I feel what makes this even worse is that it doesn't even change that much depending on where you are. Like, if you're in your house, you already feel like a monster. You go out in public, that is admittedly worse. But, but that's I mean, public how indecency. Much well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that is yeah. way worse. You're correct. <laughs> if you're out in public, you're correct. If you're naked and only have socks in public, it's way worse. Wait, hold on. Sock on your dick, though. You <laughs> technically you are not completely exposed. Sometimes I wonder why I date you. Thank you. Sock stuffed in the butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear what Brett said. You don't need you to. Don't, you don't need to. That was terrible and bad, and I'm sorry. <laughs> to cut, so- but I want to genuinely. I want to discuss why you can't be in your own home. With only socks on, without feeling gross. Like because why do then I have you to just feel got gross? everything flopping around. But hey, at least your feet are fine. No, it's well, not. Well, maybe how it works. I'm not that cold, but my floor is cold. All right. No. Maybe the room is hot, but the floor is freezing. That's not how it works. You wear. I have hardwood floors. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> it gets cold there. I have a computer that heats up my room, and I have hardwood floors that never get warm. All right. Maybe I want to be naked Hear and have my out. socks Hear on. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Yes, I get that. But the reason is because you wear clothes to feel covered. So when you're just wearing socks, you're not covered. Okay, okay. What if you're just wearing, like, an entire outfit made up of socks? I, I, hold on. I I was thinking it. uh... I hear you, and I raise you one better. Your entire outfit is just one giant sock that covers you completely. (laughs) Hey, Sam. (laughs) Sam, here's a scary thing. Yeah, don't tell me that's I real. was... No, verbatim, like literally word for word, that was a thought that I had <laughs> point, point 0.7 seconds before you said it out loud. I had verbatim, well, I'll raise you this one. <laughs> what if the outfit was a giant sock? Is a thought I was like, I'll have it, and I'll say it. And then you started talking, and I was like, I'll wait, and then you said it. <laughs> I think I love the giant sock because it can be you. very festive, and yeah. you can act like a stocking. And you're like a gift to someone. No, it's just one gross, like, white sock with a gray ankle. Yeah. It's got, like, it's a just hole in all it. Dirty. Yeah. I've got, I've yeah. got an idea for you. So you're wearing. Another one, okay. Yeah. So you're wearing that one giant sock. 
and you feel covered. But what if there's a hole just high enough for your genitals? Do you still feel covered? Or is it still the same scenario where you're naked but still in a sock? Okay, I think that one does, like, (laughs) depend on the place more. That one depends on the place and the person inside the sock. I... Uh. I... (laughs) Okay, I have to... uh. I feel like... Glory hole sock. Ah. We don't need that. We're done. What if... I... I know exactly what this thing is talking about because whenever I wear socks and nothing else, I just feel like trash. You feel bad for some reason. What okay. if you're just wearing like gloves? <laughs> what is that like the what same? You're okay. Well, let's do a shovel's experiment. Let's go. Brett. Can you run into the house, get yeah, some I'll gloves, go real quick. and I'll start stripping. <laughs> Wait, we have gloves in here. Hold on. Wait. So while they're that doing was that, my footsteps. M. What so I you... have a I have a pair of gloves in my hands. Awesome. M. What were you gonna uh, say? Brad, you want okay. to do the honors? Luckily, luckily we're both already naked, so this is gonna be pretty easy. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Brett, Cyan. No, no, do your spoof. <laughs> yeah, the glove won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam. M. What were you gonna say? So like, you've got this giant ass sock on. What if you're not wearing socks and your feet get cold? Oh no! Oh no! Retract so like a t- you retract like a turtle into the sock. socks underneath your sock. No, you can't. That's travesty. You can't put socks on socks on socks. You're a turtle. You just go back into the sock. <laughs> no, you're already in the sock. No, you bring your feet. There in the is sock. no. This is not the same glory hole sock from before. This is the full sock with no holes. Okay. What are you? Okay, hold right, on. Hold on. How are you in this thing? Are you in it like I was sleeping bag style, where your like feet are in the toe part, or are you? That's yeah. I, I was I was picturing like there was like two leg holes where like the the toe part is yeah. where your head is. Honestly, I like both. I was thinking there were leg holes in the bottom of the sock, <laughs> and you were wearing it like a onesie kind of. I got like no, a le- like I a raised, leotard. I, no, I, I was imagining you're ready for like a sack race in this thing. Okay. <laughs> I've got another idea. Can you get either glove on your fucking hand, please? No. <laughs> Why not? They don't fit. <laughs> They're my mom's. I've got well, another idea. For you. I have two and more gloves to... right here. They're the same size. This one's not. What the fuck is this? We don't need to go into that. <laughs> okay, guys. I have another one. Yeah. Yes. So, instead of just one large sock... You're wearing two large socks. The first covers you where your feet are in, like, the toe part of it. And then the second, and goes all the way up. And then the second, it's like, it's a connect, it's like, you pull it over your head. To where your head's in the toe part of the other one. And then it's just an infinity sock. Also, it keeps your pair of socks together. Because you never have one, just one sock. Yeah. I think you've earned yourself an oint point. Yes! No, that does not that does not earn an oint point. Yes. You're, that's what that's a suffocation chamber is what you just invented, Sam. Like, okay, also there's like That's a death I mean, there's a problem with it. How are you gonna keep both socks together? Tape. Like do you Armhole armhole tape. Well no, it's elastic. What? It just clings to you. Socks have elastic. Yeah. So you're making uh, it's, yourself it's skin tight. essentially <laughs> skin tight. into a sock Skin tight worm. sock. You are a sock worm and I love it. Oh, worm. Alright. It's like that fucking like commercial for like the storage things where you like put the hose in and suck out all the air and flatten all your clothes and shit. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. Space you do space. that and it sucks all the air out so the t- sock is like tight against your body. Okay. Like latex. Now we're getting yeah. into that. It becomes a fetish oh, no. thing. Now it we're getting into like it's a fetish thing. Latex what? sock fetish. No, what is that one? Yeah, <laughs> Brett, did you ever watch? I think it was. I think it was called the Naked Gun. The movie. What? There's a movie called Naked Gun. And it's like a stupid spoof of spy movie. Basically, came out around the same yeah. time as like Airplane. Yeah, and it had that dude in it. Yeah, but uh, that one dude. Yeah. There's a scene where you know, like, the dude. There's a scene where he's like getting intimate with a woman, and he. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I know where this is going and I hate it. Just stop, Sam, <laughs> no. please. And th- and she goes, "Do you have protection?" And he goes, "I always have protection." And the next scene is them completely covered by two human-sized condoms. 
and they're just like hugging and like making out with the con the two gigantic ass condoms between them and i think that traumatized me watching it as a child i have a question child i have a question sam yeah is that not normal because that's what i do when I when I have sex, that's what I do. Yeah, I carry one we, of those around in my wallet so that you know, yeah, like, just in case. I keep some in my bag. We just put on I guess, big condoms and we go to town. I guess I've just been unsafe not using full body condoms. Sam, yeah, you haven't been, you haven't been using full oh, body no. condoms. Oh, oh no, God. you gotta get checked. Sam, I'm, I'm sorry, you have to get checked too. Damn it! <laughs> you can't. You can never be too careful. We also gotta get checked. We <laughs> Sam's <laughs> touch talking to you. All interactions Sam's have to be through full body condoms. Yeah, Sam, Sam's touched my arm before, and ever since then, I had, like, a weird itch on it, so I should probably yeah. go get checked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess this would be Some weird bumps have, like, gotten on my elbow. Oh, no. That I'm pregnant. No! Wait, what? I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, honey, we still need to finish college. <laughs> that Sam, I'm pregnant. Shit! Yeah. I'm pregnant, Sam. We should die. Like, what's your I'm birth your father. control? College. College. <laughs> Look, that's like the most frat boy excuse. What's your all right? Enough of the con. I'm pregnant. I'm in college. Yeah. <laughs> Sam. Yeah. I'll give you an oint point for all seventeen designs of the sock clothing you're designing this yes. summer. I'm up to two. Yeah, I want to see the Samuel Risley. No, this is a this is a team. The Thought Sauna Sock Collection 2018. Mm. We're gonna yes. make a clothing line, and it's all gonna be sock based. Straight oh my up. god, I need it. We're going to do it, so that's good. And they're all going to be dirty, like, sweaty, terrible socks yes. yeah, it's with gonna... holes in them and stuff. Or Oh, even better. It, some of them are, like, the fun socks that have patterns on them, but they're, yeah. they're like, dirty, pa- like, super grimy dirty looking. Patterns. Oh, my gosh. What, what about those socks that have, like, toe socks? Toe socks. Yes, toe socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sam had toe shoes. Sam had toe shoes. Minus one oil point. Minus one oil point for Sam's toe shoes. <laughs> ah, 2011 toe shoes. <gasps> um, did you know Sam had toe shoes? <laughs> no. In 2011, Sam had toe shoes. I did like back my freshman year and. <clears throat> yeah, and he loved them. He yeah. bragged so much about them. He was like, "Look at my toe shoes. It feels like I'm just walking." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have sneakers and it feels like I'm walking too. <laughs> and I don't look stupid in them. <laughs> oh man, did I tell you what I saw recently? Did it does it have anything to do with socks? <laughs> I was walking around the Denton Square. And you were there. I don't know if you saw them, but there was a man walking around in like a full business suit. <clears throat> And he was wearing toe shoes with it. Oh! No. I, mean, I know that's where you were going, but I didn't want you to get there. No. He frightened me. Right, this y'all. was literally two months ago. Oh, uh, guys, 2018, we're bringing those toe socks back. <laughs> toe socks. We're bringing the toe shoes back. So we're gonna have toe socks in our line. I also think we should have like fuzzy socks, but like they've been around. Yeah. Like, yeah, like they're, you've they're, had them for a while. They're mad and clumpy. <laughs> yeah, they're all clumpy yeah. and gross. Guys, honestly, I think what we're describing right now is Kanye West's fashion line. No, fuck Yeezy. I was thinking We're going to be the next one. We're better than Yeezy. And we're going to charge $1,000, $2,000, $5,000. I think the best part clothing. is the rich would buy it, just like their live watch. And they, yeah, live the watch. rich... Just like they buy fucking Yeezy, they're gonna buy Thoughts on. Just like they buy toe shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We'll get them again. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think All right, it's I think time, it's time to dream. move on to the final segment. <clears throat> uh, specializing our special guest, M. Uh, Sam is just not gonna do it this time. He's sitting out. Okay. So. Whenever I was itty bitty, like. I don't know and I was still sleeping in like my parents bed because I got nightmares a lot I would Uh have this dream because I slept in between my parents on like our big ass bed and then 
I would have this dream, or a nightmare really, <coughs> where I could hear aliens outside. Oh. And, then, and then I would somehow know that they were there for my parents. And I would sneak out the bed in my dream, not in real life. But then the aliens would get there, and they would put my parents in, like, these wooden barrels. <laughs> in these giant socks. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would reel them out the room, and I would be like, oh, crap. I have to save my parents. <laughs> oh, dang uh, it. Oh, man. Not again. <laughs> ah, jeez. So I'd have to sneak onto their, like, UFO that was parked in my front yard. <laughs> like in the real, driveway. Real and conspicuous. <laughs> yeah. The parallel so, parked it. Yeah. And it was stereotypical UFO. Oh. Like mm. saucer. Oh yeah. And so it would have like this ramp onto it and I'd crawl up that. And on the inside it just looked like a pirate ship. <laughs> like uh, the inside of a pirate ship? Yeah. Or? Huh. With, like, a strangely, like, you know Treasure Planet? It was like yeah. Treasure Planet. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, dang. A cyborg. So I'd, like, <laughs> army crawl up into this spacecraft. <laughs> Spaceship. And I would see the barrels that my parents were in. And I would have to run past the aliens. <laughs> Who were stereotypical, like, green, big-eyed, long-head, Martian aliens. Sure. And I would run past them, and I would have to just, like, kick at these barrels <laughs> until they rolled what? off the ship. Why? Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> just like, wake up! No, no, no. And then they would roll so hard that they busted against my porch and my parents never came out. It was just always these random people. <laughs> <laughs> it was always just some, a dude. <laughs> just some guy. And we'd all run just... away, and that was that was how the dream went. <laughs> you wouldn't even go back for your parents. You'd just be like, okay, these people are coming with me. Uh, d- well, <laughs> well, got two of them. These, these guys will do. These two, <laughs> male and female, will be my parents no, now. No, no, there was like 15 people. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. What? Like a, so the barrel open and it's a party of people who are being there? Yes! And none of them were your parents? It's exactly like those vacuum bags that we were talking about. <laughs> oh my god. Were, were they s- regular sized barrels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've heard a barrel of monkeys. Just, now get sorry, ready for I'll- a barrel of people. <laughs> the whole clown con got, inv- got abducted by these aliens. Yeah. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Pirate aliens got my parents and just kept them. I gotta say, Yonk. one of my favorite things is like the aesthetic these aliens have going on. <laughs> of like, they're spacefarers, but man, they love their fucking barrels. <laughs> they they well, love Because they're a pirate ship. Yeah. A pirate ship UFO. Yeah. <laughs> and I... Do, do, do you remember if any of the aliens had like eye patches or parrots or anything? No, like, like, like swords? they so out of place. <laughs> <laughs> when worlds collide. You know what though? I could see like aliens in a pirate ship being like a tattoo on some shitty asshole's arm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, fuck it, it's, it's ironic. Like, shut the fuck up. You know what I could see? Uh,. No offense to anyone who has pirate alien tattoos. I'm sure it looks sick on you. Total offense. but Yeah, I'm sure you look great. <laughs> but no. M? I want a moving tattoo of the barrel exploding open just full of a <laughs> bunch of random people. <laughs> I want that playing over and over on repeat on my skin. Like, the worst thing was, though, that it actually scared me. So I would wake up crying... <laughs> And your parents and would have to like, like explain it in hysterics to your mom, like, <laughs> and, then, and my mom would be like, "Pirate ship and the barrel exploded." Yeah. 
<laughs> and I crawled into the ramp <laughs> that got me onto the pirate ship you found. And there was like 20 people. In the My mom would just be like, was it the pirate aliens again? <laughs> <laughs> How frequently would you have this dream? At least once a week. Oh my oh, god, least. man. That, you know what that is? That's a sign. <laughs> That's the aliens contacting you. That probably really happened a like one of these dream. times. Well, I mean, you you practice mysticism, mysticism, right? I mean, a little bit? Didn't you? It's her receiving a sign. Her powers awakened young, but she just didn't know it. Mm. Hmm. M, do you know that the parents you have right now are the same parents? Yeah, are you sure they're not? Are you sure they're not ones that you rescued are? from a barrel? Freaking alien changelings! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> have you double checked? I mean, I wouldn't Did know how to really them? check that. You gotta remember what the the guy on lore said. You gotta hold him over a fire. <laughs> Is I gotta get them around barrels, yeah, and see how they react. They have and see how they react to them. It's like, oh, get those away from a barrel. That or if they go, ooh, barrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's to, how you know. Go to Texas Roadhouse and go to the peanut barrel, mm-hmm. <laughs> and see if they try taking out all the peanuts <gasps> so they can get in. What? That's why your mom takes us to Texas Roadhouse every time she visits. <laughs> Oh my god. She needs to see- That's their HQ. <gasps> That's their oh. main HQ, Texas Roadhouse. See if there's UFOs parked in the back. <laughs> Dude, I, I live right next to that. And they're Texas under the Roadhouse. peanuts. The aliens hide they're under, the, under peanuts. the peanuts. The bodies are under the peanuts. No, their bodies Is are the peanuts. Is Texas Roadhouse only in Texas? No. I got to assume so. Let me explain how Texas Roadhouse Snoopy is to anyone to not in Texas. Along. It's a steakhouse where there's a bunch of peanuts for free, and you eat the peanuts, and you're supposed to just throw them on the floor. So the floor is just littered with peanuts. And like that's that's what they want you to do is throw them on the floor. Like that's that's the culture there, and they're all in barrels. Other than and there's that, aliens underneath the like, peanuts. The best part about it is a steaks and b the mm. cinnamon butter stuff oh. that they have. Oh my whatever god! It is. God, those that's are the best. We can't. We can't, oh we my can't God. go on about that or that we'll butter is, That butter is out of this world and now we know why. <laughs> it all makes sense. Out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad joke. Also, Thank you for laughing. <laughs> M, yeah. I'm pretty sure you you just kind of made Mars needs moms. <laughs> Sure, Are you I sure forgot, you didn't direct that movie? I forgot that Are you movie sure you didn't make that movie? Existed. Oh man! I say as though I've actually seen it. I've never watched that movie. It's. It looks pretty basic. I haven't seen it. I mean, at least you know the basic premise. <laughs> Pirate aliens coming and steal all the moms and barrels. <laughs> <laughs> From what I saw, the aliens need moms, just moms. Then what did they do to my but, dad? You don't want to know what they do to dads. They are they the turn them into 15 people. No! <laughs> what if your dad was split up into 15 different personalities of himself? And if you put them all together, they made your dad again. It's like I mean, fucking the him. episode of Fairy All Parents where there's like, sad Timmy. Yeah. I'm also there's pretty like, sure that's the premises of the movie Nine. The premises? Premises? The premises. <laughs> the premises. <laughs> Is that the wrong word? What's the, the word premises? The premises. Prometheus. Prometheus. The Prometheus. The Prometheus of Planet word. Nine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every single cartoon from the thousands had <clears throat> an episode at least where because it was in Jimmy Neutron too. Yeah. Well, I where mean, there's like, like sad in the mo- and happy and emo and evil and angry. Yeah. See, but the movie Nine took it differently, where like he's the scientist like split his soul into nine different pieces. Yeah, man. That was it. Was a cool movie for sure. It was a cool movie. <laughs> We watched it. I don't know why you're giving me the synopsis again. Well, I'm just Jekyll like... and Hyde also did that. Do you think that maybe? <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde was no. in that. Do you think maybe the aliens <laughs> are trying to prove tenth graders what the duality of man is? <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to teach you a lesson, Em. <laughs> there is well, I mean, in I all am men a are good and evil. 
<laughs> and they wanted you to write an essay about it, and you'll, they'll turn the parents if you turn in an essay and get at least a 90 on it. Mm-hmm. I think I actually wrote about it on the uh, star test. <laughs> and then all the people who were grading Which it were like, <laughs> shit, they found us out! And then they climb back into their pirate ship UFO. She's on to us. We gotta get out. Let's go back to Texas they Roadhouse. They, they, they went, <laughs> let's, go, let's gather up our Texas Roadhouse back to the and HQ. head to Treasure Planet. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of them having an HQ at Texas Roadhouse. I mean, and that's what they say. Like, no matter where they are, they're like, "Shit, okay, we got to go back to Texas Roadhouse." <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can't think of a better place to have a hideout. All this talk about like that damn good butter has I me want so that. hungry. I, know. That I good, want that fucking good. butter oh so my bad. God. Y'all know I can't afford Texas Roadhouse. Don't neither do this can I, Brett. <clears throat> Ugh. All right, well, now that we're going to end this on a hungry note. Yeah, <laughs> let's end this on a hungry, so- slightly salty note, even about the last episode. A hungry, sweet, but salty note like that butter. Exactly. Ugh. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Thoughts on Us. Thank you, M, for coming on to the program with us. Thank you for having uh, me. Thanks to everyone listening. The podcast will come out every Friday. Starting okay. this, well, I mean, this I is mean, episode like three. It's episode three, so <laughs> it's gonna You'll come out it. Friday the twelfth of January. Don't put a date to it. You just sit. <laughs> Don't put a date on it, Sam. Oh well, too late. Um, are there any uh final any any final things you want to say before we uh end this off? Uh, dust your bathroom, kids. You're so right. Advice. If any of you, well, if any of you it, have it the recipe for the Texas Roadhouse butter, please bring it to me. <laughs> you can't get that secret formula, Sam. I need that you know, secret formula. You can't get that. Don't like just go baiting the aliens now. I need that secret formula. I am the plankton All to right. the aliens, All Mr. Right. Krabs. I'm Brett. I, uh, I'm Sam. I'm, Sam. <laughs> I'm Cyan. And I'm Em. And, that- and this is Thought Sauna. Signing out. Bye. See y'all later. Brett, please don't delete the audio when you stop recording this time. <laughs> Bring a towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Thank you for coming to Thoughts On and Bring a Towel. I forgot that was our closing line. <laughs> and, like, these are my sweaty boys. And Oh, yeah. Right. I, okay, yeah. Forgot about my little ending. I'm Sian, and thank you for joining me and my sweaty boys in the Thoughts On. Be sure to come back next week and bring a towel. Okay, fucking turn it off. We'll edit that somehow. Turn it.